is much more to these fields and woodlands than at first meets the eye. Beneath the deer's hooves are underground conduits and vaults, and cables containing hair-thin glass fibers, which transmit data and voice signals as pulses of light. And this timber expert has a very special exploratory mission in a unique forest. A forest that's just one of the extraordinary facilities in Chester, New Jersey. laboratory of AT&T Bell Laboratories. Since the first telephone conversations, the forces of nature have opposed outside plant materials and systems. In the 1920s, most telephone lines were aerial and exposed to the elements. So on this hill in Chester, New Jersey, about 50 miles west of Manhattan, Bell Laboratories established a 13-acre field laboratory. Here, scientists and technicians started the first rigorous testing programs for outside plant equipment. Their goals, then and now, to reduce maintenance and downtime, to extend the life of outside plant systems, to enhance their value and suitability to your needs. In the intervening decades, the Chester site has grown to encompass scores of acres of fields, forests, and swamps. Its diverse natural environments and changing climatic conditions make it a challenging proving ground for a wide variety of AT&T Western Electric products pedestals and cabinets, to aerial and subterranean cables and terminals, to the telephone poles at the so-called pole farm, some of which have endured over half a century of sun, insects, wind, rain, sleet, and snow. The Chester Lab even has a full-scale mock-up of the cable and repeater handling equipment aboard the cable ship Long Lines, launched in 1963. It is used to evaluate the effects of ship handling routines on ocean cable and apparatus. The Chester facility is unique in the telecommunications industry, testing AT&T Western Electric products under the actual conditions to which they'll ultimately be subjected. The results are extended outside plant life, reduced labor costs, increased efficiency, and profitability. AT&T Western Electric's new light guide cables are designed for buried, underground, and aerial installation. Miles of below-ground conduit are used to evaluate these and other cables' ability to withstand frictional loads during pulling operations, uphill and down, through straight and curving courses. One, three, three. These engineers are measuring the effects of pulling tension and clearance between cable and duct liner. In this field, a unique glass conduit enables technicians to observe the twisting and flexing of duct liner as it is pulled to a manhole in preparation for light guide cable installation. Conduit materials as well are tested, along with the performance of new types of backfill and cable laying machinery.
at Chester and in the field, outside plant equipment must withstand more than normal handling, changing weather conditions and the effects of time. Here, an 80-type cabinet is punished by a simulated 60-mile-per-hour dust storm. is turned off. Dust collection pads show the enclosure's resistance to penetration by airborne particles in sandy, snowy, or salt-laden environments. Fire is another hazard that outside plant equipment must resist. Labs professionals routinely kindle intense brush fires around AT&T Western Electric cabinets. When the smoke clears, technicians examine the wiring and hardware within. Their observations and recommendations contribute to the continuing refinement of AT&T Western Electric's outside plant products. Nice weather for ducks? Well, we'll see. Clearly, the Chester Lab's water testing procedures constrain even a duck's patience. Sprinklers subject AT&T Western Electric aerial terminals to years worth of precipitation in a matter of weeks. And this pedestal closure will spend several hours under an eight-foot head of water. Following submersion, it is examined to see that it meets design criteria for flood resistance. Such accelerated testing for water penetration and moisture-related problems is combined with real-time evaluations over many years in the lab's swampy lowland areas. As if floods, fires, and dust storms weren't cruel enough, Chester's test personnel mimic hurricanes and tornadoes, which assault community service cabinets with falling trees and other objects. This impact makes a dent, to be sure, but the enclosure's inner workings remain intact, and more importantly, they continue to function. nature, vandals pose additional threats to outside plant equipment. In this routine ballistics test, rifle slugs fail to penetrate a cabinet door at a range of less than 50 feet. AT&T Bell Laboratories at Chester plays yet another crucial role in the design and refinement of outside plant hardware and systems. Studies of human factors. The ease of installation and maintenance in purely human terms. 
human factors studies involve the sciences of physiology and psychology, visual perception, memory, and linguistics. Simply put, human factors are the characteristics of people, tall or short, weak or strong, well-rested or fatigued. The Chester Lab is really a sort of consumer advocate for craftspeople, and its human factors studies help ensure that AT&T Western Electric products will comfortably fit those who install and maintain them. A case in point the handle design of the 40H-type aerial cabinet. Engineers submitted four possible handle configurations for human factors evaluation. Chester craftspeople with varying statures and experience, male and female, tested the handle options. The results of these tests contributed to the current safe, convenient design. This far stronger and lighter manhole cover was designed and field tested at Chester. Year round, dozens of sophisticated and uncompromising product performance evaluations are conducted by AT&T Bell Laboratories at Chester. Other continuing development programs are aimed at perfecting new methods of corrosion and pest control, and more efficient climate control systems for vaults and electronic equipment enclosures. In addition, several off-site locations are used to expose equipment to prolonged sunlight and seacoast conditions. The products tested at Chester have changed continually throughout its half century of operation. The fundamental objectives have remained the same. To design and perfect highly reliable telecommunication systems that meet your needs. Products that are satisfying to use, that improve human performance and increase efficiency. Products that provide the exceptionally high value you and your end users have come to expect from outside plant equipment by AT&T Western Electric. For generations, the industry leader.